Okay, let's move on to changes of state. Now, um, so they'll like to ask simple question like this. Uh, solid, liquid and gas. So observe the structure. So if they ask you to draw the arrangement, make sure you draw it like this. Solid, liquid and gas. Okay, so then uh, very simple. They ask you, okay, uh, solid to liquid. What kind of uh, uh, changes is that? So you say, okay, this is melting okay so a quick recap so uh, liquid to gas this must be boiling so uh, revise a bit uh, water so h2o so the boiling point 100 degrees okay for pure water and then the freezing point or the melting point is the same zero degrees c so as a chemistry student you got to know this then come on guys gas to liquid so this must be condensation okay so you see a lot of condensation you know when you switch on the aircon in your car in your room very cold then you can see a bit of water vapor at the window uh, that is condensation okay so then uh, liquid to solid this must be freezing okay so chemistry we call it freezing so some of the books like physics they would like to uh, write as a uh, solidification but to be more exact freezing will be good then they like to ask oh so how about solid to gas okay so this is called sublimation now you see of a lot of sublimation um in uh, when you buy ice cream so when you when you buy ice cream you say hey i want to take away the ice cream so they give you dry ice so dry ice is what so let me write down things that sublimate the popular one is dry ice but to be exact dry ice is solid carbon dioxide so when you see all those uh, you know those white color thingy and then uh, you just you just pour a bit of hot water pour normal water then you see all the bubbles coming out the the white bubbles so that is uh, dry ice okay another thing that sublimate is iodine okay uh, so these are the two uh, popular one that sublimate so sometimes the exam asks you which can sublimate uh, you can choose one of these Okay, then uh, gas to solid, same, same thing. This is called sublimation also. Okay, uh, quick one. So, and then after that, they like to ask, so uh, the kinetic theory behind this process. So, of course, you can say, oh, solid, low kinetic energy. Okay, so they vibrate at the fixed position and they're very strong forces of attraction okay so when you heat it up so it move faster so these things move faster so when they move faster so is it higher kinetic energy or increase in kinetic energy okay so then they slide over each other so when you heat it up further temperature increase so temperature increases increases here you heat it up further or well, it move even faster okay so this is the, you have the highest kinetic energy okay so then uh, of course this has the uh, weakest forces they are very weak okay uh, so this is three lines this will be two lines okay this one two lines this one one line okay so but usually when we draw you just draw the red color without the black so this black color line is for you to uh, understand so this is in terms of the kinetic energy so if they ask oh what happens uh, this must have the gas have the highest kinetic energy this is the lowest okay done stay tuned for the next video